Hey Zoo fans, my name is Dennis, and thank you for joining us today for Creature Feature Friday. I'll be here to talk to you about the Graze Monitor. So, some of the distinguishing characteristics are there's not really a whole lot of them. So males end up getting bigger. Sometimes as they're adults you might see a larger tail base, but there really aren't a whole lot of characteristics you can see until they become adults. So this one, we don't really know what it is yet, so we have to wait and see as it gets bigger. Um, habitat, they come from the Philippines Islands. Um, they're also known our words only known from them from Southern Luzon, Canton Duanes, and Polilo. Sorry for the pronunciation on that one. But th so there are possibly three species of them in the Philippines. This is just the one that we have in the United States. So diet. Um, when they're, they're an arboreal species, so as adults they eat a lot of fruit. They're actually the only fruitivorous monitor. So in the wild they might eat some pandanus and different palm fruits. For us, we do a lot of figs, we do some papaya, we also do some rodents and we do some uh, different insects. Um, in the wild they eat a lot of different mollusks and um, snails and crabs. So size, so males can get up to six feet. So the adult males are called the banjo lizard because they end up with these big kind of their biggish belly, bigger animals that still are in the trees. So that's one of those things as we get bigger we'll see if what he turns into or what he she turns into. Um, adaptations. Uh, the only adaptation that I think is big on them is they have a long prehensile tail that is more prehensile than most other monitors that have a tail that looks like that. They definitely use it to hold on to you, they hold on to everything around them. So I would say that's probably the biggest adaptation for them is that they just have a tail that works a little bit better than most other monitors' tail, other than like the tree monitors and crocodile monitors. So let's see, they are vulnerable, that is their conservation status through IUCN. How many babies do they have? So the only real information we know of that is the Los Angeles Zoo has bred them a couple times and they set up to eight. So, but other interesting facts, I don't even know what to tell you as far as that goes. It's a very interesting lizard. It is very full of itself. It will come see you when you open up the door. For a fruit eating lizard, it definitely will take whatever that goes in there. They're definitely opportunistic and it's almost always climbing around the trees. They're very agile. They like some of the smaller branches, which is kind of weird because a lot of bigger lizards don't like to be on smaller branches, but they'll go through and they'll climb on some of the vines and hang upside down and do all kinds of different things. And they're very comfortable in that way. So thanks again for joining me for Creature Feature Friday. The newly renovated World of Reptile Building will be open Monday, June 4th. So we'll see you next Friday when we talk about the Frog Lab.